Hi, my name is Ron Meyer. I'm Professor of Strategic Leadership here at TS School for Business and Society, and welcome to this installment of Meyer's Management Models, Insightful Tools to Kickstart Your Thinking. And this time around, I'd like to tell you something about the storytelling scripts model. Now, the whole idea of storytelling is that you want to convince other people to follow you. And the question is, what types of stories actually are useful in getting people to come along with you? Now, for that, we can turn to this model of storytelling scripts. And jokingly, I put here, it's all about stories, dummy, not about spreadsheets. So we want to convince people quantitative data that usually doesn't do the trick. So when we get real deep down, we're all Neanderthals and we're sitting around the campfire and you want to come up with stories that are compelling, that are really going to, uh, to speak to people's hearts. Now, what types of stories could you tell? There's, there's millions of stories. But this model actually shows you that there's a number of generic types, and that's why we call them scripts. These are scripts that you can follow. You need to fill in the details, but they all follow some type of a model. And it depends on whether they focus on the current situation or on the future situation, and whether they focus on the problems or actually on the possibilities. So let, let me run you through the four different types of scripts. So one of the basic types of scripts is what we call the burning platform. This is focused on the need to actually change. You'll say, look, so if we stay here, things are gonna go wrong, so we need to change, we need to do something differently. So you're focusing on the need to change. And you wanna come up some, with some type of a metaphor, some type of analogy that's going to speak to people's hearts. Now the opposite is to focus on future possibilities. And we call that the strategic vision script. So you're actually sketching a desirable future. You're inspiring people to come along on a voyage. You say, this is where we're headed and you should come along on the voyage. You can already imagine those two go well together. We need to leave here and that's where we need to be headed. Now there's two other types of scripts. You can also focus on the future problems. We call that the hero's journey. You're focusing on the obstacles ahead. And basically your message is, look, I know it's gonna get difficult. This is coming, that's coming. I can see the problems, but hang in there. We're going to be able to get to the promised land. So this is a story that's going to convey to people that yes, it's gonna to be tough, but if we stick together, we're gonna to be able to do this. And then there's a fourth type of story, which we call the launch pad, which actually you're focusing on the current situation and you're saying, we can do this. You're looking at the capabilities. Look, we're capable of this and this, these are our strengths. And if we leverage those, so we can actually pull this off. So these are four different types of stories, and actually you can combine them into a fifth, which we call the reinvention story. Typically that story will go, this is where we are, this is where we wanna go, it's gonna be a tough journey, but look at all of the possibilities that we have. Now, what are the key insights of this model? Well, first of all, storytelling is all about persuasion. We're not really coming up with factual arguments, but we're trying to speak to people's hearts. It's all about trying to get them to come on board. At the same time, we're using analogies and metaphors. It's not about all of the factual arguments, but we're saying it's just like this and this. We're trying to appeal to people's current knowledge, give them examples that they can relate to. Third point is that other people will also be telling stories. They'll also be saying, we can't do this because of this. We can't do it because of that. So you need to come up with stories that actually counter the other people's stories. Now, there are four different commonly used types of stories, which we just mentioned, and you can combine those four into a fifth type. So use these as scripts, come up with your own story, but see if you can cover all five boxes. Well, that was it for this installment of Myers Management Models. I hope it was useful for you. Hope to see you again next month.